Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I last made a new YouTube video regarding my tarantulas. So today I have some really exciting news to share you uh, with my channel. Is uh, some molts that I'd like to share with you uh, from one of my pokies, um, my Bumgartenai molted, and my and Tripepi molt. Uh, so a new feeding video will probably be, be aired uh, sometime next week. Feeding video 137. Wow. Wah wah wee wah. <laughs> so anyways, um, I did get some losses, only about two of them, uh, which one of them is kind of minor and the other one is kind of major. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my P. Vitata uh, mature male anymore. He passed away due to old age, which kind of sucked because I wanted to breed them, but I just didn't have time with... Uh, the crazy schedule that I have now, especially with my lawn cutting uh, service that just started recently. And I lost my Tapanikinius plumpies, which was uh, kind of odd since it was doing quite well in the feeding video. However, uh, I am in the market for a new tarantula from Tarantula Canada. Uh, unfortunately, I really can't show you uh, the spider right now since I'm saving my movie. Or actually, maybe I can show it to you. Um, yeah, this is how I edit my videos using um, Microsoft, sorry, uh, Media Impressions and Microsoft. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. Uh, let me go to Tarantula Canada and give you guys a lowdown of what I want to get. It's something really new and exciting to uh, my collection since I haven't really uh, got the species and the price seems right. However, I have to act fast uh, because uh, there is only one species left. So as you can tell, uh, Brachypelma homore now is official. Uh, There's formerly B. smithy. Uh, which is the one that I want to... Yeah, this is the one I wanted to get. Uh, the Cyracanthus cyanus. Uh, one of them left for about 145. And this is what the species looks like. So it kind of looks like a B. emilia with the with a dark triangle. However, um, this is not like a freshly molted specimen, but you can make out the bluish purple uh, tinges all over their body and a brownish abdomen and carapace so um this is pretty exciting if uh you want me to get it so um that would be pretty cool since uh that's the only one left so i gotta act fast okay so now for the good news is to show you uh the tarantula molts uh, so the first one I'm going to show you is uh, Sebastian. Uh, this was the Pocotheria Hanuma Villa Semica that I recently got. Oh, no, not recently got. Like, I got this guy, like, six years ago when they first came out in Canada. So this one here is my confirmed male. Uh, his molt is over here. So let's feast your eyes on this bad boy. Isn't he pretty? So he's roughly the same size as Tatiana. I just hope he doesn't mature uh, qu quite fast because I do want to use him to breed. I'll show you the Bumgartenai last because that's a real, real nice tarantula. Okay, so I do have to water some of the teas here, but anyways, um, Nandu Tripepi, uh, this is the giant blonde bird eater, kind of hiding underneath, oh there he is, not sure if he's a male or female, fingers crossed for a male, uh, since I do have a confirmed female this one. Uh, these guys get exceptionally large. These guys get about 8 inches. However, uh, it, not for everyone uh, in terms of color-wise. It's not the most prettiest member of the Nandu species. Um, in my opinion, that title goes to the Nandu Chromatis. But for uh, large species, these guys are just as big as H. Nicolata. And definitely a must-have in your collection. 
So while he's or she's chilling down here, I have to change the label. It's not haplocosmia anymore. <laughs> I want to feast your eyes on my bum guard tonight, and I do believe I got the real deal. This tarantula is simply amazingly beautiful. Uh, this is definitely a confirmed female. I checked this by Molt. But I do want to show you guys what these guys look like as freshly molted specimens. Now, uh, you can see that it is different than uh, Brachypelma bomi because uh, the Brachypelma bomi would not have uh, this darkened carapace. And usually, uh, when you have a dark carapace like that that's completely black, it's a pretty darn good indication that you have a Brachypelma bumgartoni. So this is the Mokoan Orange Beauty female. Uh, I would say she is a good three inches. Now these brachypelmas are pretty much like uh, regular bibomies in terms of temperament. Uh, these guys are kind of skittish and they love to flick hairs. However, they're quite large as adults. Uh, they're going to get about the same size as Homori and Smithy and uh, bibomi uh, around six inches. But these are remarkably beautiful specimens, and uh, I've been hunting for Bumgartonite for years, and one just popped up for sale. I got this girl last summer, and boy, 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 she's a nice specimen. I love her. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, these molts here uh, from the Bibomi. Oh, sorry, Bumgartonite, uh, the Nandu Tripepi, and the... Uh, Pocothera hadamabila semica. Alright guys, so hopefully uh, maybe this coming week I'll make a Mythbuster video. I haven't decided of which uh, species I want to film. Uh, probably likely going to film the Cochiana since uh, you rarely see the species and it's pretty unique to do a Mythbuster video on that one. Alright guys, so uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. So I'm going to be editing some videos right now and let me know guys if you want me to get this ridiculously cool spider. I, I actually love it. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, they do get a grown a good size, around four and a half, five inches. However, I got to get it fast because there's only one left and... They're pretty nice. Alright guys, you take care.